Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. A lot of you have asked for me to do another recipe and I'm back here again, thank God. Um, and so today I'm gonna be doing uh, salmon croquettes. I have a recipe here and for this recipe you're gonna need one can of mackerel. Some people like pink salmon. I like pink salmon but I just happen to get the, the mackerel. That's fine. You're gonna need a half to a three-fourth cup of self-rising flour. You're gonna also need a half cup of finely diced onions and a fourth cup of finely diced pepper. I have this here, which basically has the bell pepper and the green bell pepper and the white onions. Um, you're gonna need one large egg, which I have right here. And then you're gonna need a half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, I don't know how you say that, <laughs> Worsh. Chestire <laughs> sauce, a fourth teaspoon of seasoned salt, um, a fourth uh, cup, I'm sorry, a fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, which I have organic here, and then a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. When I cook, I just wing it, so I'm not going to really follow the recipe, but I'm giving it to y'all um, from the very beginning. And then a half cup of cornmeal, uh, which I have here, I use Pioneer, that's my favorite because um, what you're gonna do after you form the patty with the salmon, um, you're going to go ahead and um, kind of um, roll it or gently, carefully roll it in the cornmeal, okay? So it has a coating. So when you fry it in your pan, uh, it, it's gonna have, you know, a, a nice texture to the outside of the patty of the croquette. So here we go. So you're gonna need two bowls. Um, this is gonna be the bowl that's gonna be with the cornmeal only um, and then that's going to be at the end you're going to set that aside um, so I'm going to go ahead and put some cornmeal in there now and this is what it looks like I like to put salt and pepper uh, in the cornmeal even though that's just going to be to kind of coat it right so here I have um, the cornmeal I put some salt and some pepper and also some lemon pepper because I wanted to kind of add my own kind of ingredient in there instead of using black pepper you can use lemon pepper as well Okay, so I open up the can. I'm going to open it up so you can see. It's full in juices. What I'm going to do is drain the juices of the uh, can because you don't want the consistency or the texture to be too watery when you try to form a patty uh, in this. And so when you pull these out, salmon, if you're not familiar with it, it has bones uh, in the inside of the fish. And so I'm going to remove the bones. Some people like to just eat it with their salmon croquettes or when they prepare salmon, but I don't, so I'm gonna be removing that and I'll be showing you. Okay, so as you can see here, here is some of the fish and a, a bone. See, I'm just pulling that out. It comes out gently and I just toss it aside. So I'm gonna to toss that aside in just a minute. Okay, so here we have all of the, um, the fish, the salmon uh, deboned. <laughs> <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a half cup of self-rising flour. And also um, I'm going to add in um, a little bit of cornmeal. I know that some people just prefer just the flour, but I'm going to mix both in there. And you can wing it. I'm going to probably do like a fourth of, of um, cornmeal and a fourth of self-rising flour. Okay, so I have the fourth of the flour and a fourth of cornmeal rather than just doing all flour. And if you're diabetic, you may want to just kind of use a different experiment with a different type of flour out there. There's different types that do, don't affect your blood sugar, but you should be okay even if you are diabetic. Um, again, just use your best judgment. Here is a half, I put just a little bit of onion and bell pepper. So it's all diced, already pre-diced. You can buy it like that in the store. You can dice it up yourself. Some people can put it in a food processor. Um, and basically use half of an onion in the food processor and basically it will make it finely diced. But for me, this is a good consistency. Now I'm gonna add some of the, I'm gonna add the one large egg and the half teaspoon of Worcestershire Wish, sauce um, and then um, the salt and the red pepper flakes. Uh, and then I'll be coming right back. All right guys, so this is basically all of it here. What I'm gonna do now is just mix it all together. Some people don't like using their hands, but eventually you're going to have to use your hands. So you can mix all, all of this up with your hands, kind of mush it. Like if you were making 
um, a meatloaf, um, or you can use a, a spoon and kind of whip it all together, uh, or a fork as well. So I'm going to use my hands, and then I will be showing you what it looks like combined before I start dipping it in the um, cornmeal and then putting it on the fire. All right, guys, so here's the mixture. It's real thick. I'm going to form patties, and then I'm going to dip it in the cornmeal. And on the oil, I used about, um, I want to say about a fourth of olive oil and a fourth of vegetable oil because um, olive oil is expensive and if you're using just this recipe calls for three fourths cups of vegetable oil so I'm using a little bit more but it's okay we're going now we're gonna make the patties and so this is what it looks like guys I formed a patty I'm gonna now put it in the mixture and with one hand I'm gonna try to attempt this I'm just gonna sprinkle some over it Okay, so now it is covered, it's good. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this over to the skillet. Again, by now the oil has been heated or close to it and they're gonna be starting to, uh, you know, you're gonna wanna fry them up a little bit. So, going here into the oil. And I have some little pieces of the diced uh, onion and bell pepper, but uh, basically that's what it's going to do. So I'm going to continue until I form about four or five patties. I have here uh, all the patties as you can see and what you're going to do is you're going to want to because salmon is really the one that comes in a can is already edible. You don't have to cook it. You could eat it out of the can like that. But a lot of people like to um, you know warm it up or eat it like in croquettes like I'm doing now. So what you want to do is like make sure that you know all that flour because again remember in the ingredients there was flour and cornmeal. It's kind of like a golden brown and I'll be showing you I'm going to be flipping these in a minute but you want to give a couple of minutes to maybe about three minutes three to four minutes on each side but you don't want them burned. So just kind of you know check it periodically. I'm using a spatula as you can see here it's a plastic one so you don't want to leave the plastic in here and another thing that i didn't mention in this recipe is that um when you are doing this you may want to use a large skillet like i have this is like a wok almost um, but you want to use a larger skillet because otherwise if you use a small skillet or frying pan you're basically unless you have a deep fryer you're going to be making patties that well, maybe only two or three patties at a time and if you're feeding more than just yourself um, you're gonna, you know, you're like a family, your children, your husband, your wife, you know, whoever, your partner, you're gonna want to have more space to cook it all at once. You don't want to be making individually and then frying it up. And then by the time you serve it, other people are gonna be eating their food and you're gonna be waiting, watching. So um, I'm gonna start flipping them uh, a little bit so you can see here. All right, guys, and so you can see here, one side's kind of golden. They're still not the, the consistency that I want. So I'm going to fry them up a little bit, continue to watch them, and I'll probably give them one more flip on the other side in a few minutes. So again, this recipe will probably cook up within five to seven minutes, if less. And I'm going to go ahead and plate this when they're done. Um, and I'm going to have some mashed potatoes with chives uh, and also some green beans. All right, guys, and this is what it looks like. It's a nice golden brown, if you can see, and they're kind of sturdy so they don't fall apart. That's what it looks like. It's very yummy. I'm going to plate it up in just a moment. All right, guys, and here it is. It's plated up. I have my little uh, mashed potatoes, my corn uh, green beans, and my salmon croquettes. And it's bon appetit time. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and leave a comment below. Let me know if you're going to do this recipe. Until next time, bye.